The war of words over the High Speed 2 rail project has ramped up another gear today. An influential group of MPs says construction work should begin as soon as possible. But while supporters are aiming to highlight the economic benefits they claim HS2 would deliver, those opposed to the scheme say today's announcement is simply spin and whitewash. Victoria Cook reports. It's been described as a PR offensive by the government. MPs say not only will HS2 reduce congestion, it'll boost the economy and it'll cost nearly half the expected amount. The Transport Select Committee says it backs the government's plans for the new high-speed train that runs straight through this region. If HS2 does go ahead, it passes straight through here. Now, this is the route of the old Great Central Line. It leaves Oxfordshire here, goes on to Buckinghamshire and on to Northamptonshire. If it does go ahead, there'll be a train running through here less than every two minutes and they'll be travelling 225 miles an hour. Although the committee says the benefits of HS2 significantly outweigh any risks, campaigners against it say their fight continues. Well, I think that today, in the next few days, in the press, the Transport Select Committee will be largely taken apart because um, it it is a bit more whitewash and fantasy land, unfortunately, from the government. But MPs insist the project is vital for the future of the UK and to help carry growing passenger numbers. It's important that people get value from it. That's why lines freed by the building of the new high-speed link do have other services and developments around those stations and in the city regions so that the maximum number of people can benefit. Campaigners are now waiting for the ruling on their challenge against HS2 at the Supreme Court. Victoria Cook, BBC South Today.